Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Today I have a makeup tutorial for you guys and this is a sunset smoky eye. I was getting ready to go out and I just wanted to show you all how I was doing my makeup. So definitely keep on watching the video if you want to see how I achieved this look. So first off, you're going to start off by using Urban Decay's eyeshadow primer potion to ensure that your eyeshadow lasts all day. Next, I'm going to put some tape on the corners of my eyes to ensure that I have a very crisp look. I am using darker colors, so I need a crisper look. So now I'm going into that brick color from the Morphe 35C palette with a fluffy brush from BH Cosmetics. And I'm just using that as a transition color in my crease. And I really like using brown shades as transition colors because they make basically all colors that you use transition easily into each other. So you won't have to spend as much time blending. So in that same palette, I'm going to go into a darker brown color with a blending brush and I'm going to put that in the deeper corners of my crease just to build the intensity. Um, I'm only doing this because on top of that, I'm going to add black. And you're just going to make sure you blend it out, making sure you can tell the difference between the brick color and the brown. In the same palette with a fluffy brush, I'm going to be using that black shade and I'm going to ever so slightly blend that out into the brown and the brick colors, more so concentrating the color on the outer V of my eye. But make sure you really blend with this color because black can be very harsh if it isn't blended correctly. Now I'm using a NYX gold loose pigment color and I'm just going to be putting that on my lid and that's it. And I'm just packing that on to build the intensity. And then I'm going to be blending it out again with the eyeshadow brush that I use for the black color. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other eye. This is giving the appearance of a sunset smoky eye look. And I'm just blending it out again. Make sure you blend, blend, blend. Can never go wrong with blending your eyeshadows out. Now I'm using Urban Decay's black eyeliner pencil. It's supposed to be 24 hours and I'm using it in black. Now I am using my Ruby Kisses liquid eyeliner. I got this from my beauty supply store and I'm just going to do a winged eye. Now I'm just taking the tape off and I will be using these Gabriella eyelashes and I'm actually not sure the exact number of these lashes but you can use any type of false lashes that are pretty thick and they give a defined look. Anything works fine, you don't have to use the exact same brand that I use. Now I'm going to be using this Maybelline Master Studio Primer and I'm just going to be putting that all over my face before my foundation and my foundation I'm using in this video is my MAC Studio Fix Fluid in the color NC50 so I'm just going to be dabbing that all over my face and I will be blending that in with a Sigma F80 Kabuki brush. And I really like this foundation because it's full coverage and it really does match my skin tone better than basically any other foundations that I use. So I like to use this as my full face beat face foundation of choice. And another tip when you're blending your foundation in, don't just drag the foundation across your face. Definitely press the foundation in with the brush and buff it in. Now I'm going to be using my MAC Studio Finish or 
Pro Long Wear, Pro Long Wear Concealer in the color NC45. And I'm just going to be using this as a highlight shade. And I will be blending that into my skin with a damp, it's not a beauty blender, it is a Real Technique sponge. And I've been using this more than my beauty blender. My, <laughs> I've been using that more than my beauty blender recently because it's been giving me better results. And here you see me making Snapchat videos while I am blending the concealer under my eye. And I'm making sure I really blend it in because I didn't want any bad flashback in photos that I was going to be taking that night. So blending your under eye concealer is definitely going to take time do not rush this step because you will need it and you will definitely love the outcome if you really do take your time and not rush Now I'm going to be baking, setting my under eye highlight with Ben Nye Banana Powder and I am just using that uh, Beauty Blender which is dry to um, apply the powder underneath my eyes and my chin. And I usually let this powder sit on my face for about 10 minutes before I brush it off. Now I'm using my Black Radiance Powder in Rich Mahogany with a contour brush from BH Cosmetics to give myself a deep contour. I normally don't contour that heavy, but I really wanted a chiseled look, so I just decided to use this powder. Also, I'm going to be contouring my jawline and my forehead, and I will also be contouring my nose. Now, I know I don't contour my nose a lot, but I really wanted full face transformation, so I just went the whole nine yards. And I am using a brush, I believe, from Morphe Cosmetics. I got it in a brush set. Now to really define my contour, I will be using that Ben Nye Banana Powder again with the Beauty Blender and just making a line directly underneath where I contoured. Now when I let this bake after I wipe it off, it will be a definite crisp defined contour line. Now I'm going to be spraying this brush with MAC Fix Plus Spray and I will be wiping away all of the Ben Nye Banana Powder that was left to bake on my face and then you should go see. The contour is really popping right now, so I was very excited about that. Make sure you get all of the powder from underneath your eyes. You do not want that horrid flashback when you take a picture. So if you have to use a smaller brush, so be it. Now I'm just powdering off my face using the Creamy Beige Black Radiance Press Powder. Then I will be coating my lashes with the Avon Bold and Daring Mascara. I like to be very generous when using my mascara because I feel that my bottom eyelashes are long enough and they very much so make my eyes pop. Now I'm going to be using the colors that I use in my 35C palette from Morphe, which was that brick color along with the black color. And I'm just using that to smoke out underneath my eyes. The first color I was putting on was the brick color. And then I'm just going to go back into the palette and add the black on top. Can't finish without a little bit of highlighting so I'll be using my fan brush with max gold deposit ever so slightly on my upper cheekbones now I'm just spraying my face with fix plus spray to get rid of the powdery look then I am lining my lips with a regular black lip liner pencil
Next, I will be using Kat Von D's Lolita Liquid Lipstick. I really love this combination with black lip liner. Next, I will be using this e.l.f. lipstick. I believe this is in the color Nude, and I'll just be putting that in the center of my lips. And this cocktail of lipsticks really complemented the eyeshadow. And there, you guys, it is the final look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this full start to finish transformation. Um, I really want to start doing more of these on my channel, and I felt that this eyeshadow look came out very nicely so I had to put it up for you guys definitely give it a thumbs up this contour this contour this contour this highlight everything's